Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my reborn toddler, Archer. He is the 11 month Charlotte by Laura Lee Eagles, and he's dressed in his comfy pajamas. We're gonna do a role play of him and his baby sister, Sailor, in our next video. But this video, we're gonna show you how to make what we call universal pacifiers. And by we, I mean me and my babies. <laughs> it's really just me calling it that, but you know, I include them too. So I bought these really cute little pacifiers. They have some woodland creatures and his sleep suit also has woodland creatures on it. So I don't know which one I'm gonna choose yet for him to wear with his little outfit because both of these would look really, really cute. One has a deer and one has a bunny and both of them are the neutral colors that are included in the outfit. Like this is like a pewter gray with the bunny on it. And the one with the deer is like a dark cream, which also goes with the outfit. How we make what I call universal pacifiers. You cut the nipples off, of course. And instead of gluing magnets on so that it'll only fit with his polarization and other babies that I have that are polarized the same way as him, Instead of doing that, you put metal washers on there. So here's everything that you need. You need a hot glue gun, which I had to buy another one of because who knows where mine is. A package of washers. There's 33 in there, so you can make lots of passies with this. They're like 99 cents. A pack of glue sticks, because that's what I glue the washers onto the pacifiers with. And Archer is holding the Band-Aids over here. I just got some 3M Next Care because I wanted this size, the small size. It's in three sizes, but on the back it shows you the actual size. And so this will actually be perfect because once you put the washer on there, you can attach any magnet to it. It doesn't matter what polarization the magnet in your baby's mouth is. You can attach the magnet whichever way they need it and it attaches to the washer, which is gonna be attached to the passy. And then when you put the magnet on, you just take this little Band-Aid, it's waterproof. You stick it over the magnet. It won't scratch on their paint. And when you get ready to use it with another baby, and if that baby has a different polarization, you just flip the magnet around. So you can just buy a few magnets and then have a whole bunch of passies with these washers and you can change them out and you're not having to buy neodymium magnets all the time. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my glue stick into my glue gun, plug it up and let it be getting hot while I get the nipples off of the pacifier. Sorry y'all, you're hearing my washer in the background. My videos aren't perfect. I did put it on a tripod because I had a person tell me I was making them dizzy, but I do have, like, this hand has a little nerve damage in it from years of factory work, so that's why. Sometimes I'm a little shaky when I'm holding it in my hand. But I just cut the nipples off. I prefer to use a knife. Some people use scissors. Some people use an X-Acto knife. You can use whatever you want. Um, I feel like with a knife you can get the nipple closer than you can with scissors, either a regular knife or an X-Acto knife, whatever the case may be. So see, that's pretty close. Okay, so there we go. All the nipples are off all the passies. And next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the washers and glue one washer on each pacifier. Uh, so that's enough hot glue for that. And then you're just gonna take your washer. I like to put the rough side down because it helps it to stick better. Though these metal washers have a rough side and a slicker side. So just put the rough side into the glue and you're just gonna let it dry. It only takes a few minutes.
Okay, now all three passies have hot glue. Be careful touching hot glue because it's called hot glue for a reason. There's all three passies. They have a washer on them and we're just gonna let the glue dry. Okay, so I have one neodymium magnet right here. And technically doing it this way, you would only need one magnet per baby, other than what's in their, on their mouth, you know, behind their vinyl. So you would just figure out which way it needs to be. And then you would stick it to this. So we're not gonna be using this one with him but I'll just show you just how easy it is. See that? And then if I want to use it with a different baby, it's as easy as removing the magnet. Um, I think I'm gonna use this lighter one. What do y'all think? Let's see which one. Here's the bunny. I think we're going to go with the one that has the baby deer. Okay, so, and it's as easy as you just place the magnet onto the washer where it needs to be. Actually, there's a little bit of glue on here, so I'm going to show this to you. If you have too much glue, which I put a little too much glue, but see that little bit of glue sticking up there? If that should happen to you, just take your knife and carefully remove that. Like just put a little slice into it, and then you'll be able to pull it. Because some will squeeze through there, and that's okay. And you may want to put a little less than I did, because I put a lot, actually. <laughs> More is not always better, though. Okay. So I think the magnet can stick better now. There we go. And then you're just gonna get your small band-aids. All right, and you're gonna place it over the magnet. And these has the little strips that you can pull off. So once you get it sticking down, not only do you have a little barrier around it that's going to make sure that this magnet stays on, but you got a little padding right there that can go right against the lips, just like that. And so that is how you make universal pacifiers. Really easy. I can swap that magnet around to put it on a different passy for him. Or if I want to use it with a different baby entirely that has a different polarization from him, no problem. I can just turn the magnet around. The only thing you will be like having to buy more of are the little band-aids, but these are like really cheap at Walmart for like two bucks. So, um, you know, I buy band-aids anyway, so it's not a big deal. But there you have it. Universal pacifiers that will work for every baby. Simple and easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.